Hi guys, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for the Blitzy Creative team today. And I am working in my art journal creating this very abstract, loose, droopy, floral scene. And I'm working in my Dilusions Creative Journal. I have the 9 by 12 and I really like the size of this journal. It gives me a lot of space to play in. So I'm starting on a page that you can see I kind of already... Um, from other projects had smushed some things onto the background, which is great because it takes away that blank page fear, even though I'm covering it up, of course, with a layer of white gesso. I am using my Reeves Tear Off palettes. I love using these to kind of put my paints on and pull them up um, as I'm using them. So I'm using some of the new Dina Wakely Media Heavy Body Acrylics. I love these colors. I'm not sure if I love the actual colors or the names more. You've got names like Ocean and Cheddar and Elephant and so many more and they're all so pretty. I am using a combination of Ocean and Turquoise here to create my background. Since I knew I was going into this to create some very loose abstract florals, I decided to just sponge on um, with a C sponge, a very just simple background, um, combining those two blues and then I will bring in some of the gray color that she has called Elephant, which is amazing. Um, I had to have it because my daughter loves elephants and I'm a sucker for all the elephant stamps and even now paints called Elephant, so what can I say? But it's a really pretty, um, I think it's a neutral gray. It doesn't seem, it seems to be um, maybe a bit more on the warmer side, um, but it, it blended really nicely with these cool blues. So I think it's a really good neutral to have in your collection and I really, really like it. So I'm just now twisting my sponge on my page and creating these really pretty swirls that I wasn't even expecting. I loved the background so much when I was done, it was hard to cover it up. Um, but that was a really fun technique, something I had never really done before, and I just love the way the colors swirled and blended together. So here I am pulling out some colors for the flowers. Now I'm using a lot of her new colors like Blushing, Fuchsia, um, Cheddar, and then also some of her uh, other colors like from the original collection like Blackberry Violet, Ruby, um, and that's it. I think I'm using the new green called Evergreen. And so here I am and I am pretty much almost exclusively the rest of the painting I'm going to be using my fingers. So I am just pulling um, like pulling some of the paint directly from the tube with my finger and swirling it all, making it making um, some little blobs of flowers here and just blending them together and then like with the excess paint I just kind of dab it off onto my page to create maybe some smaller interest of flowers. And now I'm going to come in with my spray bottle and I am going to really, really saturate these colors because they are heavy body. Um, I needed a lot of water in order to get them to move. Um, so I've sprayed it, moved them around with my fingers, lifted my journal up and sprayed it again and let those drips start to fall. So you can see how they are really, um, they really did get drippy and I just love all of that moving across my page. Again, using my fingers, all of the paint that I had, I didn't want to waste any of it, I just kind of put it around my page to create more interest. So when I am thinking about abstract anything but abstract florals, you really just want to create the idea of something. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I am definitely not going for realism here. So I really just want to create the idea of flowers or the emotion of flowers. That's kind of what I think of as abstract painting. You're really painting the emotion of it onto your page. So I created a, a few um, uh, leaf shapes with my paintbrush but then again I'm coming in and I'm just spreading and moving around that color to create again the idea of some greenery and some leaves around my flowers. I'm also going to wet all of that and my 
flowers are still a little bit wet and I'm just going to get them all to move and blend across the page together. So because these are heavy body, I'm going to say it again, it takes a lot of water to get them to move. Um, thinking about it, I, I actually want to try this technique again and I think I want to try to use the dilutions paints because those are more liquidy and I think it will work better but we'll just have to see and I, um, I might have to try that on my blog sometime. So I created some centers with the color night. That's one of my favorite colors from the Dina Wakely Media line. It is a gorgeous dark blue and it's something to use when you don't really want black but you do want that dark contrast and then the next day I came back and my flowers were all dry and I felt like they were a little bit flat and so I needed to add some more dimension some more highlights so I just took white paint again with my fingers and I am just swirling it around giving those flowers some movement and depth and dimension and um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a fine tip applicator and I'm going to add that onto my night color. I'm going to show you right here. It's going to go by pretty fast because I, I do have this sped up quite a bit so that you can see it all and not sit through an hour long video. But I just put that tip onto the top of the bottle. They fit perfectly. and. Um, and then you can squeeze out the paint and kind of use it as a pen. So a lot of times I'll do swirly writing with this applicator onto my paint. And this time I just took it and kind of went around the outline of each of my little flower shapes just to give it some more um, definition. But again, it is still very, very loose and very, very abstract. We're just creating that illusion or that feeling of uh, a flower and um, so I ended up I don't know if my paint was really really thick or what but it was hard to squeeze with just one hand and my hands are really really weak and um, so I went in and I'm really really I'm squeezing really hard at this point to get that paint to come out of that nozzle usually it's not that difficult like my white comes out so so easily so fast so um, I might have a little bit of a clog there so but anyway I'm just gonna finish and I added some scribbly lines in the inside and I think it just added a lot of fun texture and dimension to my flowers so at that point I was really happy I have my white highlights I'm adding I'm sponging with that same sea sponge kind of around adding some more texture to my greenery and then of course what is a page without some splatters? I felt like I needed something else and I added some white splatters and then I took out my Bombay India ink and added some black splatters and that really just made me happy. I um, wrote my journaling on it with a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen and a brush pen. I love this pen for all my journaling when I add um, like a title to my page. It's just really easy to write and then um, I love adding the white outline because it's thick enough that I can add that white outline and it adds so much um, depth to my writing. I think it really makes it pop off the page. This is one of my favorite things right now to do is to outline all of my uh, journaling titles, stuff like that with the white gel pen. It works so great on all of this paint and texture. I'm really happy with it. So I chose Just Bloom because um, there's that saying, um, uh, bloom where you are planted, just bloom. And I felt like, you know, when you, you don't want to compare yourself to anybody else, you just want to bloom. You just want to be yourself. You just want to, um, you know, grow in your art. And that's what art journaling is to me. It's a place where I can try new things. It's a safe place. I don't have to have any expectations of the outcome. I can just try new things, try new techniques. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But every time I learn something, and that is the point. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to me and Blitzy. Give us a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.